Dr. Bob McCauley, one of the questions I get the most often is what kind of filter, water filter, should I put on my house? What kind? What do I need? What what removes, for instance, what kind of a shower filter? What kind of a, I got to take lead out of the water. I've got to take chlorine, all the chemicals. What will do it? That's what we're going to cover today. All the filters and what do they do? Let's run through these very quickly and I'll let you know what each of them does and, and how they work. Okay. First of all, I have been in water filtration and in water technology my entire life. And I went into bottled water about 25 years ago, 1993. Started producing Michigan Mineral Natural Premium Water. And anyway, got into ionized water, alkaline ionized water. So you see at the beginning of my videos, it's about the water and everything. It's because I know water inside and out. Okay, the filters we're talking about in this video are your standard 10 inch filters. Here's a 10 inch filter housing. Uh, and I like the clear ones because you can see what's going on in there. You know, you don't have to really even open it up and then you know when to change it out. 10 inch filter housing, 10 inch filters. So, water filtration. How do you clean up your water? First of all, I'll tell you really quickly purified water, reverse osmosis, or distilled water. That's not water filtration. You've taken everything out of the mill, uh, out, of, out of the out of the water. All the minerals, there's nothing left. Okay? If you're going to drink that water, you need to remineralize it first. Put some minerals back in there so that it's got some balance to it and then you can consume it. And there's no problem doing that. You end up with really good water. But if you're just doing filtration, the best filter to start with always is this a particulate filter. Just like it sounds like it takes out particles. That's what it does. That's all it does. It cleans the water. It takes the junk out. Always put this one first because this is cheap and you can take it and you throw it away and throw it away and throw it away. But this doesn't remove anything other than the kind of stuff, the particles, the grit, the sand, the all, all sorts of things. This is a one micron PP or particulate poly, polypropylene filter and very, very efficient and very inexpensive. So that's where it starts, polypropylene. Next one, just a great filter. If you just want to remove chlorine from the water, other junk, you can even remove lead. It's your car, basic activated carbon block filter. Really good at doing that kind of stuff. Moving chlorine from the water with the chemicals, if you have um, chlorinated water, like in a municipality, or as I said, lead reduction up to 99%. So this is a really good filter to use. And it's really just sort of the, the you know, the stayed filter that everybody always uses. Next one is carbon KDF. Now KDF, you can kind of hear it shaking about it in there a little bit. KDF is amazing uh, material. It actually doesn't filter anything out. It creates a vibration and it breaks chlorine down into chloride. And it can remove a lot of the chloramines that they put in water uh, for disinfection as well. And those can be really harmful for you. This, this is good at removing some of the chloramines, m almost all of the chlorine. Uh, KDF is a, an amazing material. It'll also take out sulfur from the water if you've got a rotten egg smell, if you're in well water or maybe not, uh, to remove even some iron from the water. So KDF is absolutely amazing stuff. Next one I got here, you probably never heard of this stuff, it's called burum. Now burum is meant for taking out iron, dissolved iron, and manganese from the water. And that's about all this does. Uh, you will get some really some other stuff a, a lot of stuff out of the water but they don't make any claims so I won't either but burum is amazing stuff especially if you have a lot of iron in your water and you don't want to use an iron resin filter you can use an iron resin filter like if you're not going to drink the water because it goes over this resin bed and it gives it a metallic taste so it really shouldn't be consumed but uh, burum which you know, is a that's a trade name it's made by you know Clack Corporation that is, and you know, you're not going to find this on the market. I'm going to tell you something. I had this made up special for me. So we're the only ones that carry that. Manganese, big problem in a lot of water. People don't realize why they've got it in, what's going on with the water. The manganese and, of course, the dissolved iron. Okay, it won't remove sulfur very well. It can take out a lot of other things such as chlorine, but they don't make that claim. Um, another one's iron lead. So this is an iron filter. This is a really an iron filter, and it's an iron resin filter 
and um, it is really excellent for moving uh, uh, iron from the water and lead but again uh, you know you get a little bit of a metallic taste in there so I don't really recommend this one like if you want to filter your laundry uh, room point of use laundry so you don't get any staining on your clothes or anything this isn't a bad filter you can actually even get a KDF filter um, that is pure KDF if you really have some serious problems they get costly because KDF is not cheap but uh, it really amazing stuff but this is a liar uh, an iron lead uh, cartridge really good at removing all that stuff then we've got nitrate removal nitrates are in water what they are is uh, you know dissolved organic material so if you get nitrates in your water usually first of all you have very shallow water or well uh, maybe 50 foot well what we call a gravel well um, but uh, the nitrates is what is 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 un, is really organic matter, and uh, you want, don't want any more than one part per million in there at the very most, at the very very most, and you know it can be harmful to children. So if you find nitrates in your water, you get yourself a nitrate removal uh, cartridge like this, and uh, very effective at removing that out. Now, last but not least, is a the famous fluoride removal filter. Everybody wants fluoride out of the water. Uh, the ones that are pe the people that are behind the uh, the fluoride um, putting fluoride in our water is the ADA. That's American Dental Association. They're the ones that are behind it. I don't want to talk to you about a conspiracy because a lot of people think fluoride's trying to dumb us down. Okay, I, I just wish they wouldn't put it in the water to begin with. Fluoride interferes with iodine, which is your metabolism. This is one of the reasons we see such obesity in the uh, you know in 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 our society and everywhere, and particularly the kids. But you start fe feeding them, uh, you know, having them drink a bunch of fluoride water uh, and fluoride, which is in the same line in the periodic table table as. Uh, you know chlorine and then bromine and then iodine which is a huge molecule um, it causes a lot of trouble and with metabolism all that kind of stuff and plus fluoride just doesn't belong in the body it kind of cakes up the pineal gland if you drink it over a lifetime and that can lead to dementia and Alzheimer's and all sorts of other things so anyway um, this is a, what we call an alum filter and it removes fluoride and arsenic from the water um, but I warn you about this one all the other filters I've shown you here and I got to show you one more here uh, this is last but uh, this is last, last but not least I got one more really good one for you um, this one it really slows down your water flow tremendously you'll lose a lot of pressure water pressure with this you got to have a lot of pressure behind it so be warned if you want the fluoride out of your water this is pretty effective or remove over to 90 percent of it but I'm going to warn you, um, you're going to really lose a lot of water pressure. Now, my favorite filter, and this is just the all-around filter. If you just want a basic, great, incredible filter, it's a particulate filter with carbon and KDF in it. And what this is is got it's a nano zinc filter. So um, you know they wave, weave the nan the zinc right into the fiber and it is a patented process I'm the only one that sells this that I'm aware of in the United States this comes in from Taiwan it is really cutting-edge technology this is an amazing filter this is like the star of all filters you've ever seen in life um, and again it's just a uh, we call it a PPGAC triple action filter particulate filter uh, nano zinc filter and a carbon filter with KDF in it as well. It is an amazing filter. This is my favorite. And uh, it's just if you're going to stick in a filter anywhere and you say, gee, what can I do with one filter to get everything? This is the best one I've got and the one I recommend more than anything else. Okay, that's the filters for today. Dr. Bob McCauley and clean water is everything. Water is the foundation of health. You want to drink a gallon, a gallon and a half every single day. That's what I do. I start my day. I've told you guys a million times big tall glass of water and then I have another one and never drink more than one liter per hour and don't drink water around mealtime you'll dilute your whole digestive process other than that water should rule your day and with this kind of stuff here folks this kind of stuff you're gonna have really great clean water Dr. Bob McCauley see you next time so if you like our videos you like Dr. Bob you like what I'm doing I tell you all the time it's just my lifestyle Click on some of the other videos and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.